Well, yeah, we're, we're going to scrimmage. We'll have, we'll have three scrimmages. We'll have the opportunity to, to tackle. Um, but we are tackling every day. Um, we, we've changed the system of tackling uh, that we use here, and, and, and we're tackling bodies to the ground every day um, in our drill work um, and, and, and understanding how we, you know, how we do it, what, what type of tackling system we're using, and, and I think the guys are responding well to it. We've what, seen some of the drill. Is it full, full speed tackling, or is it kind of like a token tackle? I mean, is it full hitting? In, in practice, in, in, not in drills, not those scrimmages. Yeah, we're, we're, right now we're we're getting after each other full. We, we can get after it. Now, every every college in America, you know, you have rules in terms of how many days you're allowed to bring someone to the ground. Okay, but you can tack, you can have a full speed drill without bringing people to the ground, where it's live, other than the guy, you know, finishing with bringing the guy to the ground. You become a good tackling football team doing that. So, um, I think that's what what us and most colleges are going to do. And then you get your scrimmage, scrimmage opportunities to where it's really a game. You know, you've got the rules of the game. You know, How did uh, Jermaine Grace you know, see him moving? Obviously, he's a veteran. Is he at the standard that you want your linebackers to be, or does he even still need to, to show that to you? Certainly, he's ahead of the rest of them. That that that, that jumps out as obvious, and I've been using him as, as an example in the LB room to to say you know, we've we've got Grace, and then we've kind of got a, a mush pile of, of some other guys. Um, but but certainly, there's still more for for Jermaine. And one thing I'll say to his credit is, is he wants to be pushed. Uh, he wants to be uh, held to a higher standard. Um, but by far, and what, I, what I've been most uh, pleased with him is that he's really put some physical plays on tape, um, you know, knocking into fullbacks and, and some things like that. And uh, he's a powerful kid, and, and um, I, think he, I think he likes the role that he's at right now. Paul Muhammad said he wants to be the best. Go ahead. Yeah, is he a Sam yeah. or is he a Will? Or he's, he's, he's our Sam. Is that different than, completely different than his role last year or kind I'm, of those two outside guys? I really don't. I, really, it, I, don't, I, I couldn't say what his role was a year ago, but it, it's just, it, is, it is just a different deal. Are those two outside guys kind of, are you able to just kind of flip-flop those guys? Because normally you think Sam, you think of a guy bigger than Jermaine Grace, basically. Not, yeah, but in this day and age of college football, your Sam is a guy that spends a lot of time walked out. You know, he's got to run out there, tackle the bubble screen. He might have to match up on wide receivers. Great. The, the teams that are really good right now in college football have Sams that are almost high. Hybrid um, linebacker safety types um, that can that can are athletic enough to play in coverage and, and, and still physical enough to come back and play in the run run game. All right, guys. Last question. Quan Muhammad said he wants to be the best pass rusher in the country. Uh, Coach Rick doesn't throw compliments out very much on, on guys, but he pointed out to him Saturday. Your thoughts on Quan? Is he the best pass rusher out here right now? Well, what I'll echo is that he's the hardest playing player we have on our defensive front, and uh, and and that you know. That is the standard. That, that that's the point that we want to show everybody else. You know what I mean. And, and if you'll just if you'll play as hard as you can play, in the framework of this defense, and, and take to the coaching that Coach Kulagas is giving him in terms of um, how to rush the passer, you're you're going to be a productive guy in the fall. Mm -hmm. So his effort stands out in practice. When other guys maybe start to feel tired, um, Quan continues to push himself. And I think that's uh, that's a testament to who type of human he is. And then I think the type of player he'll become. But his, his gifts is that. Does he have all the gifts to be the best passer in the country, you think, physically? It's the same thing. I can't answer. Yeah. That, all right, guys, we have Rayshon Jenkins Internet list here. question. I can't figure out who's the best. I don't know who all is out there. Well, I mean, he the just, gifts, I'm saying. Does he have yeah, them? no, he's, he's a very yeah. talented guy and, yeah. uh, and with, with, a, with an excellent work ethic. So, All right, thank you all, all right, very much. You,